Well, certainly a beautiful view of a bird indeed. That is the chin spot batisse. And what is so magnificent about it is that it is sitting so very close to us. But a few, well, probably about five meters away. It's really quite special. Two of them, Mr. and Mrs. Mr. is the one below, and Mrs. just above. Although I think Mrs. might be a bit of a child bride. That grey feathering that she has indicates that she's a youngster. And I don't think they think that we can see them. I think they're fairly convinced that they're invisible. So they're not very clever to spot battises. And Herbert's just asking them where Tingana is. And as yet, they have failed to tell him. Which I think is very unfortunate. I think uh, if I knew where the leopard was, I would tell Herbert where it was. But the chin spot battisters have as yet not made their alarm call. In fact, the last time I found him, I think it was chin spot battisters that led me to him. The last time I found him, I say that like it happens all the time. Oh, Peter, I think jackals in the night, probably. They make a howling sound that sounds like a, well, a death hound running through hell on a particularly bad day. It's terrifying. Jackal. Yes, Kirsten, it does sound like a Scooby-Doo ghost, because that is what a jackal sounds like. Unbeknownst to you, they modelled the sound of the Scooby-Doo ghost on the jackal, the black back jackal, recorded on quarantine clearings in the year 1986. It's a little-known fact. These chinspot batises are still here. They are either dead or convinced we can't see them. And I don't think they'd be on their perches if they were dead. It really is quite spectacular. And again, not another sound around except Herbert walking around, getting a little irate because he can't find Tingana. And we can't get hold of anyone on the radio who saw him last. really is brilliant. Like I say, we are very close by. <laughs> I love their eyes, which are just lighter than black, so they look like two little beads staring at you. I'd love to know what they're saying to each other. Sit still, Annie. I don't think they can see us. Oh, Charles, I think they can. Annie, just sit still. They're humans, I promise you now, if you sit still... They won't see us. But they're looking at us. Charles, they're looking at us with that with that pointy thing. And that one of them got a... Looks like a, a stick. He could, he could easily throw it at us. Annie, be quiet. If you talk, they'll hear us. Just sit still. And think of England. <laughs> Come, Senzo, let's carry on. You're still enjoying the sighting, are you? All right. Well, you can, you can carry on. I don't mind. You can't what? Can't you can't think of England now. I can't think of England now, Charles. We're in South Africa. I told you we shouldn't wear winter here. I told you we should see winter at home. My dear, you're being completely overreactive as usual. Now, calm down. Charles... 
I'm not the one who overreacts. You know that very much. You know that you had our last three chicks killed by that cuckoo because you didn't think that it was a cuckoo and I told it was a cuckoo. Don't talk nonsense, Annie. I know what a cuckoo is. Charles, you don't know a cuckoo from your own hand. I don't have hands, Annie. I have wings. Now be quiet. They'll hear us. They won't hear us. We're speaking batters. They don't understand batters. Annie... Shush. Let's think of something else. Let's think of the coming summer. Charles, I can't think of the coming summer. It's still months away. There's so much to do. We'll have to build a nest. Annie, well, we'll build a nice nest. We like buildings. I don't like building nests, Charles. Not when I'm threatened by two humans staring at me like this. But, Annie, uh, um, I, 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 we'll make it beautiful this year, I promise. I, I'll get you that spider's web you wanted. You promised me the spider's web last year, Charles. But this year I really will get it for you, Annie. But, Charles, you will say that every year. But you're too scared. You're a chicken. You're a coward. Annie, don't say I'm a coward. You are a coward, Charles. You could have gone down. And I want that. I don't want that disgusting yellow stuff you bring home and the, all the time from the golden orb of spiders. I don't want that. Well, Annie, I, it's, it's difficult going to a baboon spider's hole. They, 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 they're quite vicious. I told you you're a coward, Charles. I'm not a coward. Baboon spiders are scary. They're only scary to you. I'll do it this year. No, Annie, don't. I'll do it, I promise. This year we'll have a nest lined with baboon spider silk. Oh, Charles, the people are still looking at us. There we go now, Senzel. Thank you.